Welcome to the Wednesday Drive for Girls Golf at the Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship. My name is Taylor Burr and I'm the social correspondent for this tournament. I'll be posting every Wednesday to bring awareness to women's golf. Today we are joined by Mr. Nota Begay himself and special guest LPJ, LPGA Foundation, Nancy Henderson. Nota, I'll start with you first. Why did you think this partnership was a good idea for your Junior Golf National Championship and the LPGA Foundation? Well, I, I think it's critical to, to grow the game um, with, with young girls. I think it's imperative to the success and the future of, of a robust game moving forward and um, being able to diversify uh, not just into different communities, but as far as bringing more girls into the game, you know, the disparity is, is far too great on the men's side. I think there's so many great attributes that young women can take away from the game of golf, some, some of which that Nancy and I have uh, enjoyed throughout our careers. And I just want to open that opportunity up as much as we possibly can through our platform and be a strong advocate for the growth of the game in the women's sector. 100%. Nancy, why did the LPGA Foundation decide to support NOTA's event? Well, I think the bigger question is why wouldn't we? You know, when we look at what the LPGA Foundation stands for and what the Nota Begay Foundation stands for in this incredible event, you know, we are all about, first and foremost, through our LPGA USGA Girls Golf Program, teaching girls the game of golf and all of the great qualities that go along with it. Through our five E's of girls golf, we empower girls to believe that anything is possible. And, you know, Nota's event provides provides equal access for girls and boys. So 50% of the participants are girls and 50% are boys. Not many opportunities like that exist at that national level. So for girls to be able to play and, and be part of such an amazing event um, is a great opportunity. And, you know, for us, we are not a competitive program. We teach them the game of golf. We empower them through it, but we don't provide that competitive piece. And that's what uh, the Nota Begay um, Junior Golf National Championship does. And as we know, part of this partnership, three girl golf members will be awarded complimentary entry fees to a regional qualifier for the Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship. Nancy, how do you feel that this opportunity will help support this growth of the game platform? Well, you know, for us through the LPGA Foundation to allow girls to have the opportunity to compete who wouldn't otherwise maybe have that opportunity is really what our foundation is about. It's about access and a pathway for girls to be able to all be able to have the same opportunities. So our Girls Golf site directors will recommend girls. The girls will have an opportunity to make application and then we'll review those applications, not only based on their playing ability, but their need. Um, and uh, we wanna make sure that those girls have that same opportunity to benefit from playing at that national level. I love that. Noda, why is this a good event for all the junior girls out there to play in? Because uh, we've eliminated any and all restrictions related to access. I mean, uh, I honestly, if, if somebody wants to participate in a competitive competitive event and you know their best score up to date might be 90 I, I don't care I want them to have an opportunity to come and join us and compete because you you really never know when that competitive spark is going to fire up a player and they're going to fall in love with not just the game of golf and what it represents and so many of the things that the LPJ foundation stands for historically almost 30 years in existence is is so good in rebuilding and, and building communities. And with where we're at in a lot of places in our country right now, we could use a lot more of this. And so I wanna bring in as many young girls into our tournament and promote all the positive attributes of the game of golf, the LPGA Foundation and our event, which is come one, come all, come play. Uh, we'll identify a national champion this year in November, and it's gonna be an exciting run of events. It's exciting. And Nancy, similar question for all the girls out there thinking about playing tournament golf. Why would you tell them to go for it? Yeah, it's interesting. You know, boys are so much more apt to say, yeah, let me give it a try. Um, girls are a little more hesitant. They're a lot more afraid to fail and how they would look. So 
for us, we work in girls golf on confidence and, you know, going for it. So, you know, I think for girls, there's opportunities also for scholarships. So we encourage them to play, to try that competitive um, game. And, and that could open doors to potential scholarships and college. And, you know, so I guess it's once again, why not, right? So if the girls, you know, just kind of give it a go and, and uh, you know, more often than not, they're successful. You know, girls golf is not supposed to be competitive. Um, but we actually have about 45 girls golf alumni who've made it to the LPGA tour or play on our developmental tour, the Symmetra tour. So even though we're not meant to be creative, competitive, we're definitely having girls who have made it on that elite level. Noda, how do you hope that the championship on the golf channel will help bring attention to the boys and girls that make the finals? Well, year over year, I think it's going to give these young boys and girls something to shoot for, something to work towards, something to put in the back of their mind that says, if I work hard and I go out and I play well, uh, I can make it to the national championship on the Golf Channel. And that's just the goal setting that we like to implement with a lot of our young boys and girls to carry forward, not just into the realm of golf, but into their academics, into their personal life, and to their community outreach, which we are a big advocate of here at the MB3 JGNC. So, Hopefully we'll be able to do that. And if some of them happen to play well in the national championship platform, they might be seen by a collegiate coach. A lot of opportunity for women on the women's golf side uh, at the collegiate level. Ann Walker, who's a good friend of mine and the head coach at Stanford Women's Program, is always looking for new talent. And this might be a place where they can just find that. It's true. You never know who's watching on TV. Nancy, final question. How has the game of golf shaped you into the person you are today? <laughs> Wow, that's a great question. There is no doubt that I wouldn't be where I am today without golf. Golf um, allowed me a scholarship to college. It allowed me to play professionally and travel all around the world. And it got me into a career um, to basically be involved with golf, something that I'm really passionate about. And most of all, it allows me to help inspire other girls um, to open doors for them through golf. And, you know, the foundation has a uh, slogan, it's little girls, big dreams. And we wanna make sure that every little girl not only can dream, but can dream big. And this partnership um, with the Nota Begay Foundation helps us provide access for girls and their dreams to come true. It's beautiful. Well, thank you both for coming on the Wednesday Drive for Girls Golf. A reminder, I'll be posting a special interview every Wednesday to help grow awareness to the girls golf and the Nota Begay III Junior Golf National Championship. I'm Taylor Burr. Have a great day.